John Aiklesome from Boating New Zealand magazine. It's a beautiful day here in Auckland. We're here to review the Lasercraft HT650, the new hardtop from Lasercraft. The new Lasercraft GT650 HT is soft riding and responsive to the helm. The hull feels well sorted and the boat is a quiet runner. So here we are, we're back at the dock. We've had our afternoon on the uh, new Lasercraft GT 650HT, uh, an impressive vessel. It performs very, very well with the 175 Yamaha, but it's impressive in other ways as well, uh, not least this, this really practical, livable cockpit layout with its nice high freeboard, uh, carpeted floor, and of course the carpet can be taken out when you need to clean it. And, and the layout just works really, really well. You know, quite wide pockets, so there's plenty of room for rods and reels or anything else you want to put in there. I like the way that the battery is nicely protected. Even though it's on the floor, it's still in a box and it's protected from the elements by the door. And we've got a couple of extra transom lockers as well. A fairly standard bait table layout. You see this pretty much in every trailer boat these days. It also has a, a ski pole, which you know you can take out if you don't want to use it. The live bait tank, it's not huge, but certainly big enough for a couple of mackerel or a you know half a dozen mackerel. You could go and chase some kingfish with a live bait tank like that. The pull-out door here for the transom is on the starboard side, as is the dive ladder, uh, and a lot of King divers will tell you that this is the best way for it to be, that means that the helmsman can see the diver quite easily getting in and out of the boat, so that's a good, uh, a good feature indeed. So the helm position works well, it's nice and comfortable, the seat is certainly comfortable, it's adjustable fore and aft, as is the passenger seat. The dashboard has enough room for a good size multifunction display, we've got, uh, not, the, not the biggest display ever, but this is as the boat comes, this is how it's being marketed, and you can get this package pretty much for just a shade under $100,000 with a 150 horsepower engine on it, so a pretty good deal. Uh, that's complete, you've got uh, the Maxwell capstan, Lenco trim tabs, and you've even got a windscreen wiper. So one of the things that makes Lasercraft different to the run-of-the-mill aluminium boats is the fact that it has a fiberglass top. In fact, from the gunnels upwards, the decks and the hardtop are all fiberglass. This is a brand new lid on this particular boat. Uh, beautifully finished and really quite stylish. The boat looks great in the water. It's got that typically Lasercraft sort of paint job, sort of a lighter colour. It's, it's almost a cream colour, but it looks really, really good on the water. But really, the, the, the whole finish of the boat impresses from the polished aluminium capping where the deck joins the hull. And and also inside the boat where there aren't any sharp edges, everything has been nicely fared and covered and partly that's because it's fiberglass but also there's a lot of attention to detail to the finish work uh, right through into the cabin which is comfortable with uh, really sensible macro suede coverings on the squabs which are easy to clean but they look great. Uh, a very comfortable place to be. So that's the Lasercraft GT 650HT. It's a pretty impressive vessel. Really stylish, drives really, really well. Uh, plenty quick enough with 175 horsepower on it, but probably just fine with 150 horsepower. A pretty interesting new model from a really iconic New Zealand builder. John Aiklesome from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.